Well, it's half past four in the morning. It's the start of the river season, and I'm down on one of my local stretches of the Upper Medway. And today I'm hoping to target a nice chub, a summer chub, and uh, hopefully kick off the start of a, a, another new season. So, fingers crossed. Let's get off down to the river. It's through that misty field over there. And uh, let's see if we can, uh, like I say, catch yourself a nice big chub. Looks a lot different when I was last here. When I was recording a, an episode for, for Winter Tales, we'd had loads of rain. The, the, the flood water was right up, right up to the banks. It was pushing through and uh, sadly no bites that day. It's dropped back down to its normal summer levels as you would expect we've not had much rain there's a bit of rain forecast tomorrow which might freshen things up so we have a little bit of cloud cover that i've got and the sun forecast to come out a bit later today i better get down by the bank side and start fishing looks great it's great to be back on the rivers no, there's nothing more exciting than that first cast of a brand new season. And, uh, let's see what happens. This is us. Shove it straight up in a tree. <laughs> let's hope not. It's not too bad. Just started to get a, some indications, a little tap, tap, tapping. Just put a little bit of bread on, a bit of bread flake, and whether it's small fish, it's not always easy to tell sometimes. You think it's a little fish nipping away, and it turns out it can be a chub. I'm just waiting for that tip to wang straight around, that'll be the best indication of a big chub. Sun just starting to to come up through the trees there. Too early days yet. Got my cap on, my bucket cap on, just preparation and protect the old head. It's supposed to be a bit warm and bright today, which is not ideal for the rivers, but it's the only trouble at this time of the year. More tapping. Probably small fish, probably little chablets, and dice, roach. I'm sorry to say it's not really happening. I'm just getting small little plucks on the bread flake, and I've been here probably about an hour on there. And um, I think we'll have two more casts and going to move on, move on a bit further down the river, and see if I can have a, a bit more luck down there. It's a shame because I really. 
really fancy this peg. I, I do normally get at least one chub out of this peg. But, um, they're playing a bit hard to get at the moment. Like I say, I'll give it two more, probably another ten minutes, and then that'll pack up and move further down the river. Come on, you chub. Let's just flick this out into position. Little wonder arm cast. Such a nice swim this is. It looks so so fishy, so chubby. Let's just hope there's a few chub at home this morning. Fingers crossed. Well, the good thing is there seems to be a few fish about. Quite a bit of indications on the tip and uh, a few pull rounds but probably just small fish at the minute. Mm -hmm. At least I'm getting signs. That's really encouraging. Like I said, I've had that one sort of chocolate first first cast. Mm -hmm. Just as I tightened up then on the tip tap straight away so there's definitely a few fish down in there like that cheese and garlic paste that I made up so that's good I'm throwing a few cheese and gar cheesy garlic pellets out as well just a, not a lot just just to top it up every now and then just to trickle a bit of feed and put a few small lumps of liquidized bread also it's got some liquid hemp mixed up in it to dampen it down just to get scent going in the water it would be nice to get a, a decent chub to start off the, the river season for me It's a nice peaceful stretch of the river. You can quite easily doze off to be honest. Well apart from the just a little tapping and the odd pull round and it springs back quick. And the only indications I'm getting so far, I'm waiting for that real pull round. And although this river doesn't hold a massive amount of chub. There are some real nice chub in here, you know, so uh, there's, you'll get the chublets, which is good, because at least it's the, the new generation coming through. But trying to locate these, these chub in here are, are not easy. They don't always, you know, they don't make it obvious where they are. You, sometimes you can spot them. But on this river, they tend to be tucked right away, out, out of the way, and you don't really know their, their ear. Now there's not a lot of swims on this section of the river. I must admit there's probably two more further up. One of them is a real deep swim, one of my favourite swims. That's more a float, float swim, and um, 
I'm going to save that for another another trip here. Um, there is another one. You have to sort of get right down to it in the rapids, and uh, there's some uh, some features on the far bank, overhanging tree, and I've had chub out of there as well. But this swim, I feel I need to give this swim a little bit more time because it looks so fishy. You know, it really does, and it does get get fished a bit. You can just tell by the bank, and. Um, So it's a, nat a natural swim for anglers to, to target because a lot, a lot of the river is unfishable. It's steep banks, it's overgrown. It's a very wild stretch of the upper medway. And uh, you don't really get many people down here either. So a lot of, the, a lot of the members tend to fish other stretches or, or on the, the lakes, but I, I just tend to target this river this stretch of the river anyway because I know there's a bonus chub here and it, 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 I don't know, it may take five or six sessions before you get that, that, that one, that one I'm looking for, a six pound plus here. I've had them over five, I've had fours It's just trying to find them, trying to find where they are. Sun's trying to creep its way around the back of the tree, which ain't good, so it'll probably be on the swim soon, which is not ideal. But I'm getting little drop backs and holes. I'm, I'm sure there's just small fish. Uh, I've had a strike on a couple of them and nothing. Uh, they're obviously liking the cheese paste, cheese and garlic paste mix, so that's that's good. Still feeding a few pellets here and there. But it's still early days yet, not giving up yet. Well, I don't know what to say. Um, too angry at all. I just lost a real good fish. I dropped it a bit shorter in the little whirlpool effect that's going on down there. And um, real slow bite developed, and it sort of bent over slowly, lifted up into it. It thumped twice, and then just as just as the fish was about to sort of power away, pulled out of it. Yeah. So disappointing. They don't, they don't give you many chances in this river. And um, a bit gutted to be honest. I may not get another chance today. Well, not in, not in this swim anyway. God oh dear. So frustrating. Well, after losing that fish, I've not had a touch. So. Just sort of casting around the swim a little bit to try and see if I can locate them, but it may well have been that that fish, that fish I lost, has spooked them. I'm not, not even getting bites from small fish. Just one bite away from happiness. That's all it takes. But at the moment, it's uh, it's really hard work. And that sun is now working its way round, and soon it will just be lighting up the whole swim. And then that'll be 
the end of end of this swim anyway. Such a tough river at times, this section. But um, this this year I shall be heading up to the River Thames quite a bit. Got some sessions planned for that. Maybe maybe a session on the Throop and, uh, and possibly the Hampshire Avon as well. I do like my river fishing. It's just locating those those bigger those bigger fish. They're the ones I want. Not really interested in catching small fish. Not this time of the year. It's just the bigger ones. The bigger chub, the bigger barbel. And hopefully some nice big perch as well. That'd be good. Get some nice big river perch out of the Thames. I should probably, I don't know, I reckon I've got about another half an hour left in this swim and then I'll have to make a decision. Perhaps try one more swim further, further upstream, or downstream I should say. Had a little touch there, as soon as I turn my head, <laughs> the rod, a little knock on the rod then. There it goes. Yes, I'm in. Oh, yes. Wow. Please don't come off. Yes, it's a chub. Just seen him. It's not, it's not massive, but he's, he's going to be very, very welcome. Yeah. Oh, at last. At last. They do have a scrap, don't they? I must admit. It's, once you get that first run, yeah, he's in the net. He's not, he's not at all big, but I don't care at the moment. Just pleased to have got one in the net. I don't even think he's two pound, but like I say, I don't care. Well, there we go. My first chub of the season. After all the little chublets I had. But yeah. Starting to feel a bit despondent after losing that big fish, and I was beginning to wonder about moving on. So I'll have a, probably another couple more chucks now. And this is just over the two pound mark. And who knows? Might be a bigger one there waiting. If not, at least I've got one to show to the camera. Even though it's not a big fish, but who cares? I'm happy.